Hi, this is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com and I love to share videos on faith, family, home, and food. So if you haven't subscribed, please be sure to do so and click that little bell so you'll be notified when another video is uploaded. So today I'm here to share with you my last pregnancy update. The last before I go into labor. I had my doctor's appointment today and um, he checked me and I'm still one centimeter. So he said I had an option. I could either um, go in today, um, go in, you know, overnight, and I guess they start giving me whatever I needed to start softening up my cervix and be induced. Um, I was a little caught off guard, even though I'm like, okay, you know, next week may be the week. Um, so he said, but since everything is going well, I can't come back next week. Wait till next week because I will be 40 weeks this coming Saturday. So Tuesday, I go back and if I, of course, have dilated or went into labor before then, then we'll start the process next Tuesday. So now I have everything planned for Tuesday. And like I say, unless she decides to come before, we're good with that. <laughs> um, and what else? So... My weight this week, I was 217 pounds. And I asked her how much did I weigh my first visit. I was 202 pounds. So I only gained 15 pounds and I was really excited. I mean, 15 pounds with all my other kids, I at least gained 50 pounds or more. So I was really excited to have only gained 15 pounds. And considering she'll be like 7 pounds, you know, that's really, um, a lot of that is going to be gone. Anyway, when she comes. The next thing, um, as far as um, symptoms, still having Braxton Hicks contractions, which I've noticed they're not so frequent, but they are, you know, still coming. I get a lot of, like, lower vaginal pain. Like, when she moves now, it really hurts um, when she moves. When I stand up after sitting down, and when I stand up, I have to be very you know, move slowly because I'm not sure like how much pain I'm going to feel as I stand up. So I take my time, you know, when I stand up because I do feel a lot of pain um, d down in that area like she's hitting my nerves <laughs> or something. Um, she's doing a lot, a nice amount of moving um, and I just, um, I guess now it's like when I feel her move, it just, um, Gives me comfort knowing, okay, everything's okay. She's, you know, moving and stuff. So, um, she moves quite a bit. And now it's the moves that is more like a thumping move because she is you probably, like, running out of space right now. Um, so she is moving a lot. Craving. I've been tearing up this Greek yogurt. This is the yogurt that I've been um, eating. And it's the traditional yogurt, toasted coconut vanilla Greek yogurt from... Aldi and I just oh, it's so pleasing it's something I mean but it's so bad because I went to Aldi yesterday but I buy a flat um you know they come when you they're in the fridge refrigerator section they're on this flat and there may be like 12 in there so I put all that flavor in there and so sad I bought some yesterday and I'm maybe down like to my last one um, my husband did eat one, if that makes it better, but they are just so delicious. Um, sleeping, I've been sleeping well, still getting up like four or five times at night to use the bathroom. Okay, my bump, y'all. I have, look at that belly. And it, this is the first time I've noticed my belly drop. It's like really hanging. Um, this probably these pants are probably giving me more support, but I can I can tell that I have really dropped. So that is my belly. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> That's the belly. Next week will be the week and it's really something because um, my 
son's birthday is December 3rd and she'll be born like on November 29th. So they're going to be like four days apart. That's really something. And if I would have probably wait to like 42 weeks, but no, I'm not. <laughs> um, she could possibly be born on his birthday. So that's really amazing. Um, and that's it. Maternity clothes. If you see me in a video and I'm wearing the same maternity shirt, it's clean. I'm just down to the last and I'm not buying any more maternity clothes. I'm so ready to get out of these clothes, <laughs> which this wasn't a maternity shirt. This was a, a regular shirt and it was so big. I'm like, I'll wear it for a maternity shirt. So I'm just ready to get out of maternity clothes, period, because I'm wearing the same thing over and over again. And I'm glad I didn't buy a lot of clothes, um, maternity clothes, because for me, it's not really that serious. Um, yeah, so that's all going on. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, I didn't go like Thanksgiving grocery shopping. Everything we already have here, I'm cooking ham, making dressing, greens. We have a ham in the freezer. We've had it in here a few months. Um, dressing, greens. Um, we have some greens still growing outside. It's covered, so hopefully those that's enough. We can have those. We have sweet potatoes that we harvest from the garden. We have a sweet potato. So I did not do any Thanksgiving grocery shopping this year. Whatever's here, that is what we're having. And my husband's like, what about a chicken and ham? I'm like, we're having one meat. One meat. I'm not doing two meats. That is it. So um, I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And I hope the next time I see you, if this is not the last video, because I'm going to be uploading quite a few videos. Um, I hope you will see me soon with our new baby to so welcome her. So this is Nicole with HelpMamaRemove.com. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.